Hey, what is up, you guys? Uh, welcome to or welcome back to my platform, wherever you're watching this at. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to please stick around to the end of this video. There is something very important that I am announcing and sharing with all of you that I, <clears throat> I, I'm really excited about, and I hope that you guys will be too. So. First, I want to say it's been a minute. There's been a lot that's gone on in my life that's kind of kept me from doing all of this at the moment. Um, not so much physically kept me, but mentally. As a lot of you, I'm sure, know, this is nothing new. This is just how I work, and unfortunately, it is not the way that everybody enjoys watching content they like consistency and all of that and <clears throat> unfortunately the past year of my life has been insane and a lot of things have happened so last time I was here like actually here here I was discussing the devastation in north or western North Carolina and Tennessee it became you know People started, it turned political, people were getting angry. I don't care to argue with people about political stuff. I just don't give a shit. I'll say what I want to say. That's it. Um, you can go say what you want to say. That's that, you know? And I just kind of, I couldn't believe that the devastation that happened in Western North Carolina and Tennessee had become a political argument over helping these people and it really made me angry it made me very angry to see that so many people were just hell-bent on trashing somebody who just wanted to help who was saying facts about the situation about oh they're getting 750 dollars oh well, no they're not da, da, da. you know what i mean just arguing when i'm saying these people need more help because they did and they still do. That is what this is about. I have been talking to um, other creators and things like that, working on something that I really think could be amazing. Something I've always wanted to do in life. So about 15 years ago, I was making a trip to Kentucky down to the Army base, uh, Fort Campbell. And I had stopped at a gas station and they had a bulletin board hanging up and there was a piece of paper and it was a single mom who needed help for Christmas. And I grabbed that paper and I took it with me and I made a bunch of phone calls to a lot of, uh, at that time, Toys R Us was still around, Kmart. I contacted a bunch of these stores and explained the situation, told them I had this mom who needed help for Christmas. She had this many children, da da da. And by the time I was done, I had collected an entire carload of presents for this family. I called up the number on the paper and I told her, hey, I, you know, I found your paper. I was able to get you some help. Can I bring this stuff to you? She was so grateful. So I went to her house. And she came to the back of my car to get the stuff out of the trunk, thinking that it was just a few things. When I opened my car door and flew the seat up and told her that all of the things in the back seat, the stuffed back seat, plus everything in my trunk was for her, she literally dropped to her knees. And it, it broke my heart, but in a good way. And ever since then, something in me has wanted to do something like that on a much larger scale. And like I said, when Hurricane Helene hit, I had this, in, this need, this urge, this something in me that was saying, you need to help. You can do something about this. Help these people. And it was eating at me day and night to the point that my friend was like, are you okay? Like, because I was so hellbent on, I need to help. I need to help. I need to do something. 
And I think I found what I can do. And not just for this situation, for a lot of others. Uh, during this downtime that I've been gone, um, I lost someone very dear to me. And I know that some people will say it's so stupid. Why you cry about that? I'm trying not to cry. But um, my dear cat that I absolutely love and adore uh, was hit and killed um, since, since I was last on here. And um, I was... I was beyond devastated, to say the least. Um, I'm still to this day struggling, and that's been over a month ago. Uh, but <clears throat> it is part of what I am doing now. He, my sister I lost, and my grandmother are my three angels. And... In their honor and memory, I want to create a, um, an organization that will help families who are in need, not just during Christmas, but if, if a family has a birthday, a child with a birthday, and they can't afford a birthday cake and a Christmas or a birthday present for, the, for their child, I want to be able to help. I want to be able to help on a large scale all year round and especially in seasons and holidays like Christmas I want to do something big and that's why this year for the the folks in Western North Carolina and Tennessee I have come up with something I am so proud of and this is just the start um, from this I want to grow the much bigger thing. I've been working, like I said, I've been speaking with um, other creators and one specifically who has been working very hard in these areas. She's left her home and she goes in and boots on the ground and they're helping them. They have an entire team of people who are there working day and night. I have decided to work with all of these people to, to do something, to do what I'm about to tell you. So with that, I'm going to take a moment to share with all of you something incredibly close to my heart. My new project, Operation Elf Angels. This initiative was born from that deep desire to help the families and children of Western North Carolina and Tennessee who faced the most unimaginable loss in the wake of Hurricane Helene. Many of these families lost everything, homes, belongings, but worst of all, the comfort of normalcy. Now, as the holiday season approaches, I want to step in and bring them some much needed hope and joy. The mission of Operation Elf Angels is simple, yet powerful. We are raising funds to purchase gifts for these families and their children to make sure that they get to experience the magic of the season, even in the midst of such hardship. Here's how it works. Volunteers, the volunteers that I was telling you about, many of them have been boots on the ground since the hurricane hit. They are going to be distributing the applications to the families in those hardest hit areas. Along with these applications, they are going to be filling out a wish list of items that they would love to receive this Christmas. My goal is to use your generous contributions as well as mine to fulfill as many of those wishes as possible. Then, the weekend before Christmas, I am going to personally pack myself up, head to North Carolina and Tennessee where I'm going to be setting up distribution and personally deliver these bundles of gifts to these families that we are able to help. I cannot wait to see the excitement on the kids when they get to open presents in a time that they did not think they would get to. But this is about more than just gifts. It's about showing these families that they're not alone and we have their back in this journey. But I can't do this without all of your support. 
Every donation, big or small, is going to go directly to bringing holiday cheer to those who need it the most. Together, we can make a real difference for these families and remind them of the power of community and compassion and let them know that we have their backs and we want to make sure that they also get to enjoy this holiday season. And I want to thank you all so much for believing in this mission. Let's make Christmas a season of love, hope, and giving. And let's make these families feel like somebody out here cares about them and that we see them. If you are interested in helping this initiative, I am going to post the GoFundMe link down below. We have set a high goal. Hopefully we can meet that and get all of the families in this area something for Christmas so that they can have one day, one day out of this past six months, five months, four months, however long they have been struggling. Let's give them one day to at least sit back, try to relax and see the smiles on their children's face. So check out that GoFundMe link down below. You can also email me if you are in that vicinity and would like to volunteer for either distribution of applications and helping get families lined up or distribution of the gifts the days that I will be down there handing them out. So yeah, this is what, I, uh, this is what I've been working on and what I'm so excited about because this is going to be so much more than just one Christmas. I want to be able to do this for Christmases for years to come. I want people to know that there's an organization out here that is ready and willing to help them for a birthday for Easter, which I've already got um, bunny angels for that. That will be Easter baskets that will go to children that are in need. We are going to have a lot of fun with this and helping people. And it is, I'm so excited. I cannot explain to you all how excited I am about this. Everything is already on. The, it's already the ball's rolling on it all. I've got everything lined up to start uh, the legal stuff, getting you know taxes, things like that. Um, a website is in the process of being built where you're going to see uh, families' stories. You're going to see um, the financials where you can, everything's transparent. You'll get to see that. There's a lot that's going to be on this website. You'll get to hear the story behind where I come up with the name um, My Three Angels, which is going to be the name of the organization. Operation, um, Operation Elf Angels is the operation name, the mission name for this specific um, mission. But the organization itself is going to be called My Three Angels. Uh, that'll be on there. You will get to hear updates from me and others and volunteers. I plan to bring in as many people as I can to make this the best possible um, assistance platform that, that people could ask for. That is my goal. That is my, what I'm driving for. And I hope that you all would love to be a part of that as well. So if you are able to help get these families a, a happy Christmas just for one day. I urge you to please check out the GoFundMe. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for being here. I hope to see you all soon. And stick around because there is a lot more to come. Bye, guys.